using the stunning desert eyeshadow palette which is really nice it reminds me of the desert rose effect and it has matte as well as shimmery and has lovely pretty pretty colors which I love to play with and since my look is the Barbie look I want to play with very sensuous soft pretty colors so I'm going to start with a lot of beige nude colors now if you see I've held a buff in my fingertip as well as this fingertip because I don't like my foundation getting spotted so I'm first going to use a little candy kind of a pink see it looks really soft and nice on her eyes and it complements the color and again I'm rotating round round like a wiper technique lovely space for eyeshadow which normally we always are finding in a bride or in a actor or on a you know model that we're using whoever is your canvas so luckily we don't have to struggle too much with her and again since my theme is like Barbie I'm using these very soft colors a lot of people think that oh my god we use matte eyeshadow and not too much of colors you don't end up looking glamorous I'd love to reverse that in the head that I'm sorry less is more and the more less you do and soft you do you look the most glamorous like we see all our actresses with Lux commercial always have these kind of eyeshadows and soft look and they always end up looking the best in the left Lux commercial so the makeup is very soft and sensual a little bit one, one shade brighter than that so I'm using like a burnt rose look at the audience lovely so I'm going to lift her eyebrow bone and slightly do my crease Pushing the V up and out. And dragging it out with an empty brush. using a very nice candy color on the lower lash line as well mm -hmm. yeah I'm using like a pastel pink and like a lavender pink Makeup is all about this. Now I'm using a similar candy color with a nylon -y pearl color for the highlighter. So I'm still getting the same freshness on the highlighter as well. Sorry, slightly face light, yeah. So see when the light hits on it's looking really stunning. on the crease line so I'm mixing a little bit of brown and wine just on this upper crease line 
why am I doing this? Because if I feel the highlighter looking too stark, I can slightly shade the highlighter off. Okay. So our first look is very soft. I'm using a pearl pencil. The next, I'm going to use a color because we're using that lovely emerald green, green and brown mixed on the lash line. Show my love. Instead of a regular liner kind of a feel, I'm just using shadow. I'm not a very big fan of liner. I feel shadows look way softer and younger. Don't worry, video I'm looking record kar rahe na, aapko milega. Don't worry. I'm holding it like that. Even if it's wrinkled skin or younger skin, in fact, wrinkled skin, but take over. This looks nice. We see dimple kapari always uses a shadow. She never she. uses liner. Wiggling the brush, I'm gonna just tap, tap, tap the brush and get all the volume that I need.
So I'm using a little black shadow on the lash line just to camouflage also and make it look softer. on the lash line so that wherever the joint of the lashes and the glue is totally disappeared yeah it look more subtle and soft liner se kabhi kabhi start to be very crispy very harsh this looks a little more younger more youthful So see girl this peach banana powder looks really fresh sexy i love the color the freshness it has so again like me you know how i am i love kind of mixing tones and i'm going to just glide it over her cheeks smell up look this way like i'm getting a little charm up me cheeks everything well lifted
see how I'm protecting her eyelids from the mascara. So I'm putting my finger there. So whatever there is on my nail. Okay. I think lower lashes always completes the look with full drama. And Simran has really pretty lower lashes as well. Sometimes when you don't do a lower lashes, I feel the eyes look a little lost or dead. So I think lower lashes obviously will be good. Finally to finish the look, we're we'll using a lovely setting spray, shake it up and hold the eyes, don't let it go to the eyes and so to my, uh, the answer of my suit she was asking, we were trying to achieve a little glassy look, so again your glassy look is going to come back, <coughs> rosy nude colour. I'm not outlining it too much, just within her lip shape only, just the upper rose bud of the mouth, I'm giving it a little shape, stretch slightly. So this is called the cupid's bow where I'm kind of concentrating. Smile. Lovely. And lower lip you're creating like on the lower lip are you slightly. with a little blush nude which is really mine this is exactly the eyeshadow color which I used if you remember it's a similar tone which I'm gonna just use it on the lips and the look is very matte I don't want too much of see oh my god this color looks amazing like it uh, Itanchi smile 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 beautiful So I'm going to actually hound character this mix to give me at least 20 of these pieces because this is like a mind blowing color. This is going to be the signature Otis Rajani favorite. Smile. So I'm very happy that we've used the same lip color and the same eye color which is really nice, very candy, very Barbie. Always do your final checks of the lip shade by slightly keeping your chin down because that will really guide you to know whether it's balanced on both sides your lip shape. Huh? And the lower lip 
always looks nice and powdery. Lovely! Our look completely ready using only hair cosmetics. So start with the pre base, which is a lovely moisture base, very supple, very soft. Do we get a little matte and it helps me to kind of camouflage the under eye area really well? And after that, I've used a lovely correcting and concealing palette. Again, we saw my favorite color, lovely peachy color. You can see the stain already on the palette. It's really minimal, really shake, very creamy, not too cakey, not too pasty. And then I use a lovely foundation. Again, by character. What do the colors say, darling? It says Ivory Nude. Okay, so it's Ivory Nude, which is exactly her matching shade. Really nice, again, very. You know, it's like a souffle, very sure, yet coverage is buildable, really soft, really gentle on the skin. And then I use a lovely sheer translucent powder, which is colorless, sets beautifully, it also works as a setting powder, and it also works as an anti-shine. So this is what we've achieved. And again, like I said, my favorite color being this lovely candy pink. And this peach, I think it's really bar by very pretty and helped me to use on the outer sockets a little more rustic tone. And if you see, I've got a very fresh look happening and really completed with a lot of highlighter. And I've used my favorite, favorite, favorite highlighting blush duo, which is really nice. And again, we've used a little bit of this apricot color just on the cheekbone. We've not contoured her face. And we've slightly just done her eyebrows with the eyebrow pencil. Not too much of color, but she already has the most perfect eyebrows. And most of you, the lovely, lovely setting compact powder. Again, it's my favorite peachy color. It's really nice, and it name also says Micro Silk Press Powder. So I think it's very silky, very smooth, and you know, the best thing is not very chalky looking. But normally, when we see powder, we find everything looking very chalky, pasty, cakey, but nothing of that sort. And again, I use this on the untry, my favorite colors. So whoever's following Otis Rajadi always know I love these peach jewelry tones. They actually accentuate the features and do the needful of maybe hiding or camouflaging to a bright content. So, this is what we've loved. But most of the icing on the cake is this lovely volumizing mascara. It has really given her that doll look kind of a thing. Obviously, we use very soft natural lashes as well. But you witnessed that even before putting the lashes, mascara really did get extreme. And our look is very complete, very fresh. And like when we talk about lip, again I said I love my beauty, you know, candy peachy pink color, which is really set beautifully. So I expect a lot more colors of these for me. And for Zibrin, because I think we both love this color. The character, we're waiting for a lot more goodies coming our way. And I hope everybody loves this look. Any comments, anything, please feel free to write to us. Also, I've mixed a bit of this crayon pencil on this character just in the center to get that little ombre feel. And we've topped up our finished our look with a lovely nice setting finishing spray, which is very nice. It actually hydrates, doesn't make it extra matte. You don't look ghostly, but also it does setting the makeup perfectly so nothing moves or budget in this humidity and rainy weather. So there you go. You have a bang on waterproof makeup look, which is really chic, glam with very soft sensuous colors. So stay tuned, don't you go know we're gonna open the hair now. So again we've done this section wise girls. So I'm looking at section in calling your egg section for the back home coming in. Like uh, this one had asked me Puja, right? Yes. So see why I'm doing it.